If everybody knew the name Maurice Strong, there wouldn't be much need for me to point him out to you. The New York Times called Maurice Strong the custodian of the planet. doesn't look particularly indispensable. Indeed, he exudes a kind of negative charisma. He is gray, short, soft-voiced, with a salt-and-pepper toothbrush mustache who wouldn't rate a second glance if you passed him on the street. Yet his remarkable career has led him from boyhood poverty in Manitoba to the highest councils of international government. Among the hats he once wore are Senior Advisor to the UN Secretary General Kofi Annan, Senior Advisor to World Bank President James Wolfenson, Chairman of the Earth Council, Chairman of the World Resources Institute, Co-Chairman of the Council of the World Economic Forum, member of Toyota's International Advisory Board, yet his most prominent and influential role to date was as Secretary General of the 1992 UN Conference on Environment and Development, the so-called Earth Summit, held in Rio de Janeiro, which gave a significant push to global economic and environmental regulation. In short, Maurice Strong is the father of the carbon tax. In short, Maurice Strong is the cause of global warming. Without Maurice Strong, there would be no anthropogenic global warming because that was created as a ruse to extort money and to grab power over the entire planet. The dude is ambitious, I'll give him that. An obscure little man that you wouldn't notice if you passed him on the side sidewalk, but he is obviously very ambitious. Uh, it didn't quite pan out because he's now hiding in China, because he's wanted for questioning by investigators of the so-called food for oil deal when sanctions were placed on Iraq before the invasion. Iraq found numerous ways to evade those sanctions through the help of people like Tong Soon Park, Mari Strong, you know, the, the same dude who's popped up in the past um, connected with the Moonies. The Moonies yeah, the Moonies. Yeah, it was the Moonies. Reverend Sun Young Young Moon, or whatever his name was. Every weird fringe group and every socialist group, every whack job group, are all joined at the hip in this effort to take over the world. 
Nobody is even curious about it. But maybe you are.